Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old dirt road. Are you ready to go? Thank you for joining us today on Live Music Nation Podcast. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today, we're with Jim Johnson. He's the Assistant General Manager at the Denny Sanford Premier Center. Can you get a longer name for your center, man? Yeah. <laughs> We'll, we'll name it whatever you want when you sponsor the <laughs> building. Just give us the money, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Jim, um, give us a little background on you. Where where'd you grow up and, and how did you get to the assistant GM position? Uh, originally from Virginia, um, out, of, out of college, moved down to Atlanta, Georgia, and worked there for about 15 years in a facility. Then moved over to California for about seven years. Wow. And then... Here in South Dakota for four. So in Sioux Falls, did you did you go to school for this? Did you go to college for this? Uh, I did go to college, but uh, my degree is not in anything related to this. Um, I've just always been active in special events, theater, things like that. Got into it and took a job out of high school, and it's been my career ever since. So, so what was your college degree? Uh, environmental sciences. Oh, very good, very good. Very good, but you just you just always kind of had the interest in the in the passion for events management. Yeah, live live events you can't you can't beat the excitement and the energy there, and I just latched onto that and been doing it ever since. Awesome. So tell us about the Denny Sanford. Um, how long has it been in existence? And uh, tell us what you guys do. So right now we've got a an arena that was actually built in the '60s that's on property. Uh, with that, a convention center was added on in the uh, early 90s, and the uh, big building I'm in right now, the Premier Center, uh, that's been open for eight years now. Okay. It's a 12,000-seat arena. Host, host concerts, host sporting events. Yeah, we've we've got a uh, USHL hockey team okay. uh, that, that calls us home, an indoor football team, and then we fill it up with concerts, family events, rodeos, uh, just about any any type of live entertainment you can think of. What what is it about live entertainment for you and for your city that really just I mean just just clicks for everybody because. You know, we all went through COVID. We all missed it because we kind of missed getting together and, and the social aspects. But what do you think it is about live entertainment that that people just flock to? Yeah, I think with with everything going on in the world, whether it's a pandemic or politics or just day to day life, people need a break. They need to get away, enjoy yeah. themselves, and you know, it's it's that energy. And what I love about the job is I work in a job where people want to come here. No, nobody's forced to come see a concert they say oh i've got to go see this concert tonight right everybody's happy when they get here and that makes us happy tell us tell us what an assistant gm does what's it what's it what's a day a week a month in the life of, of your job look like yeah so a big part is just working with the other departments keeping things running smoothly but a uh, big focus on my job is to program this this arena here uh, to keep the the content flowing yeah yeah, very cool. Let's have fun for just a moment. You've seen a lot of concerts in your life. I mean, a lot of concerts. Jim, what's the best concert you've ever seen in your life? Wow. Uh, there are a lot. Uh, probably the one that jumps out at me is um, Dave Matthews Band. Wow. Is somebody, uh, you know, he's originally from Virginia. So okay. I was, I was uh, in town in Charlottesville, Virginia, when he was playing the local nightclub once a week. And just to see his career grow, and I got a chance – uh, on our five-year anniversary a couple of years ago uh, to have him here for three nights. Ooh. And he just does just an amazing live show, full energy. Um, and, yeah, place was hopping. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's twice this week that we've heard Dave Matthews and and from from the upper Midwest. So there's something going on there for sure. Okay, yeah. um, another fun question I like to ask. Dead or alive, you could bring one act to your arena. Who would you bring? Ooh. Ooh um, well, per personally, it would be John Denver just because I'm a huge fan and such a talented guy uh, for uh, – Geez, for ticket sales, it'd be nice to have all the Beatles back together, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, for sure, absolutely. Jim, Jim, you have a family? Yes, yep, I'm married with a 17-year-old uh, daughter. All right, so let's talk to that teenager out there, that, that young boy, that young girl who really is kind of thinking about what they want to do with their life. They like entertainment, they like 
live events, but they're not necessarily um, interested in becoming a performer. They want to explore the other side. How does someone get their foot in the door to get where you're at, Jim? Really, I, I and what I tell all the college students or high school students I talk to is just get in. It doesn't matter what you're doing, what the job is, just be part of it. Yeah. Um, I've there have just been so many people of the executive level or my level who just was interested in it. I started my career loading trucks and uh, moving speakers in and out, and you know I made it up to assistant general manager. Fantastic. So just just get in there if it's something you enjoy and want to be part of. Work hard, ask questions, and and you move up. Yeah, that's excellent. I love that. We're gonna we're gonna use that in many many different clips. That's that's fully thing. <laughs> Jim, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for giving us some insight of what's going on there in South Dakota. And uh, by all means, we're uh, we're gonna we're gonna look forward to see what happens, and, and good luck for the hockey season next year, right? Yeah. Cool. Thank well, I you. Appreciate so much. the opportunity. Well, baby,